Hi everyone, it's M and D back again with our weekly coffee bean review. Um, this week um, we're doing a two-pronged kind of tasting. Um, we're doing the um, shop bought bean. Um, which shop was this from? Was it a, a combination, wasn't it? Because yes, we couldn't find any more. <laughs> yeah, we've actually done quite a few. Um, so the band term was Sainsbury's yes. um, and we got the Sumatra, it's a small batch Yes. Yeah. Um, and we got the 360 from Waitrose, uh, that was the last one there and it's the cube, it's Cuba so it's a Cuban yes. one. The only ones um, left now are the shop on brand, yeah. what they call us the number one. Yeah. And then Sainsbury's have also released some that's not Bantam but called just Sainsbury's just own. Just Sainsbury's own. So we'll look at those ones in the coming reviews as well. Um, so if I just put those over here. Um, so we've got those shop walk ones. Um, we've also got the um, Guatemala Finca Los Chocados natural processed coffee beans from Coffee Compass that we will be roasting uh, in this review and doing a taste um, comparison. Ah, so we're doing a comparison this week. And yes. we're doing a comparison using, um, well, it's actually the roasting technique that's been used that we're comparing the flavor on. So if you remember last week in our review, we looked at the Indian Malabar, uh, the Monsoon Malabar. Uh, we did it on, it was quite a dark roast. Do you remember that, D? It came yes, out really yes. oily. It's oily. Um, and what do you call it? A full city roast. Yeah, it's called a full city roast. Um, so that's quite dark and full roasted. Um, that was done in the Jean Cafe um, drum roaster, isn't it? That's right. Well, isn't it? Yeah, airflow roaster. Airflow roaster, it's actually, roaster sorry. It's not a, sorry, yeah. airflow roaster. Um, this again is a Monsoon Malabar. It was um, done again in the Jean City, wasn't it? Yes, Jean, sorry, it, Jean Cafe. Why do I call it Jean City? Jean uh, Cafe, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Jean Cafe, and that was done on a medium roast. That That's was, correct, yes. Um, less time. Yes. Oh, Emma, can I just say that. you're looking particularly lovely today? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you make me blush. <laughs> Um, and also, um, just do that, stop the chin. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to put up with the chins. Right, um, and this roast um, was actually done in a combi oven. Um, oh, yes. And it's a medium roast. Can we call it a um, premiere on YouTube? It is a premiere. The, this is the first time that we uh, that anybody has, has roasted using a combi oven, as far as we're aware. At least um, on YouTube. On YouTube. Also, um, in light of this uh, premiere, Dee has come up with the roasting guide for combi ovens. Yes. Um, he's been researching that this week and has come up with this. So that will be available to you guys and we'll put a link to that. Um, or we'll let you know some way, Dee, you're the tech guy. I'm not really the tech person at all. So does that mean we are going to have a website then? Um, yeah, we'll do a, a website. We'll whip one up, and you'll be able to access so the you, information on is it, here. Is the website website called um, uh, D and M or M and D or D and Assistant M? <laughs> <laughs> M and D beans. <laughs> <laughs> M's been, later. M's been, sounds a bit, <laughs> M's been. M's been where? Right, we'll go into that later, do we? <laughs> we had a big discussion, husband wife discussion going well, about that. You can be on top. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> right, so, um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in today's um, review. Um, and what we're com comparing are the flavours of the, um, so we did the dark roast last week, we're looking at the, at the medium roast, um, mm. done and in the Jean. Yes, um, Jean Cafe Roaster. That's it, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> what I call it, Jean City, God knows I want to call it that, um, and the oven. So just to say, they're both done on a medium, so we just want to see um, if there's any flavour differences, any like flavour notes that have yes. changed and and, and 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 we only had the visual cue 
So um, uh, yeah. for, but for the oven, especially you can't hear the cracks very well. But uh, what combi ovens usually allow you is to have a very precise temperature setting okay. and control the steam. Uh, yeah. Now the superheated steam is cooking, so maybe the color doesn't necessarily develop that dark that quickly. Okay. But it took less time. It was about ten minutes yes. um, that it took to roast that, and it we achieved this coloring within ten minutes. And when I opened the door, you can hear the cracks, the first cracks uh, starting. Um, or it could have been the second crack, it's difficult to know, but um, I'll uh, put the details on, we've got the details downloadable hopefully soon, uh, or you can see the file, um, I'll superimpose on the video. Yeah. Um, sorry. Um, so all that information will be there. Sorry to break your flow. You. Um, yeah, thanks. Be over the next week that we'll get that um, set up and sorted for you guys that, that watch us, um, if you want to get that information. Um, especially if you've got a combi oven, <laughs> it's very yeah. useful. Um, so just to tail off, are we going to continue trying Jean Cafe uh, roaster as well as the oven for the... Uh, yeah, uh, I think we should do that for the Guatemala and Finkelos. Um, yes, I ooh, can't quite Cardals, say it. I, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, Jacatales. Um, this one with the purple. <laughs> the Jacatales. Okay. Okay, yes. Um, so that's something that we'll be doing a little bit later. Or well, not we, you will be doing the little okay, bit later. Yeah, because yeah. he's the roast master. He's the man <laughs> that does the roasting in this uh -huh. house. Yeah. So, um, first, what are we going to go on to first? Well, well, shall we try a quick taste test of all the three? Because I'm quite keen. I've been waiting. I haven't tried it. Emma hasn't tried it. So we're going to premiere well, we've, uh, trying the taste of... You want to retaste this one? Yes, we can start with the retasting of that. Because that's then the It might taste good. Okay, shall we try... We know this taste. This? Yeah, we know that taste. I we can try this and I think it would be good to do that. that direct comparison. Yes, so yes. we know this one was quite um, a, dark, a dark fruit, wasn't it? We said it was quite Yes, deep, uh, but, but quite very dark. little of those kind of acidic fruity taste and yeah, yeah, uh, to yeah. me it felt like it was more like a, a, a dry roasted peanuts sort of taste. Yeah, you were saying about peanut taste, oh not peanut, but nut taste. Nut taste, like yes. Macadamia, like a, yes, cashew yes. and yes. all of those kinds of flavours which they're all kind of native nuts to um, yeah, Kerala, Kerala Malabar. The, the Malabar, yeah, yeah. isn't it? So, so uh, yeah, we don't know if it's that or if it's the the way it's processed, the you know the monsooning. I don't yeah, know what we it don't does, know. Yeah. It's something. It does something, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. So we'll try this one. Uh, that was the Jean Cafe uh, Monsoon Malabar. Um, done much lighter. Done on a so lighter. It's, it's, uh, yeah. They look rather beautiful. Yes. And so that was stopped at thirteen well, minutes. It's got quite an, a, a nutty smell. Actually, mm, yes, you're right. It actually smells well, like cashew nuts. It does actually smell like I'm just gonna uh, clear this out quickly. I'll just double check. Yeah, it's got a nutty smell. Yeah, I think it's got a nutty smell. Sorry, I pulled that. There's nothing yeah. coming out. So, is 244 too fine? I don't know. Shall we? Uh, did you want to change the grind? Setting? Um, no, let's Before try we... it. Let's try it. Okay, and why are we doing it on 244D? Because it's a very, um, uh, it's a medium to medium light roast. Only 13 minutes on a gin cafe. So that would mean that it needs yeah. a lot. Yeah, it was quite. Um, fine, um, a light, no. Is that a finer grind? Yes, the grind? lighter the roast, the finer the, the grind. grind. Okay. Uh, so, as we will see from this chart. Okay, I'm just going to. <laughs> um, okay, let's so the static is not actually coming from the body of the machine because mm. that's a plastic bit. So obviously the static is mm. being transferred through the grinds yeah. uh, into the and the static actually keeps the particles so we put separated. It straight so. into the basket there. But um, what you Excellent. might want yeah. to do is just have a little sniff. 
it smells divine. Wow, yeah, yeah. Interesting. It smells really good. So okay. it's it's not a fruity smell. It's um, it's a nutty. Uh, to, yeah, it's a nutty and, smell. And, Isn't it? Yes. It's really nutty and lovely. I'm just going to clean that. Up. Yeah. Okay. Trying to be ahead of the game there. <laughs> I'm that out. Okay, yes, did you, uh, did you want to we're trying to keep things uh, with a bit of pace, aren't we? Yeah. So, would you like to come over and um, look at the pour? Yes, sure. So I'm going to start off on a slower pour. Um, it's only up to bar two or three. Yeah. Four. Mm. So, that grind is fine. So, a yeah, fine grind is recommended for a light roast. It's going up to eight now. That's coming out beautifully. The colour's yeah. lovely. Yes. And that blondie already though. Yeah, but um Okay, I'm gonna close that off because it was blonde in there. Okay. Okay, so we'll uh, do that as an espresso again like we do each week. Yes. Um I'm just gonna do the cleaning quickly and then we'll crack on with the tasting. Excellent. Yeah. So. There we go, that's done. Right, sorry, just a little bit clean. Okay, are you ready? Yes. So the crema on that's pretty decent. Oh, yes. Isn't it? Yes. It's lovely. Yeah. It's got a beautiful colour to it. Mm. What does it taste like? That is a. Well, that's strong, eh? Yeah, that's strong. And there is a bit more um, of that, uh, what I call as acidity, what you call as that fruitiness. There is a bit more of that, but there's a tinge of bitterness. I d that is it's what we need to see. Yeah. bitter. You're right. It's the oils. There are so much oils, and the finish is bitter. Yeah. Very oily finish. finish. That. I can taste the fruit, but it is, it the that that sort of tropical fruit flavor is superseded by the yeah. It's it's, it's quite intense that flavor. It's quite dark actually, which is surprising. It tastes darker than the dark roast. Did. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. It's so dark. I'm, I, I kind of. Finish that. Mm. So that's quite surprising. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. I didn't pour for too long, I don't think. I think I'll close it off and I'll... Yeah, yeah no. maybe some of the sweetest tastes come later. So usually that's a good that's reason to complete the pour. not an espresso. It's not for espresso, that. Mm. I would, it's quite strong. That would be really nice if you want a really decent cup of coffee. Like a strong cup like of coffee. Like a milky, yeah. But if it had cream Correct. or milk, it would yes. be... Good. Yes, I don't. This is not an acrid taste, or it's not a. No, it's, it's just it's, a bitterness from the oils. Yeah, it, it, you need something just to smooth that out slightly. So yes. I think cream. You can pick up cream at a good price in most shops, and I think the cream would actually yeah, help like a, it quite a lot to be more like um, a runny single cream. Yeah, it's not an espresso roast. I don't think it is. D. Mm. I wouldn't class it as an espresso. Okay. Uh, so compared to that, to this is a much better uh, roast for espresso than... That would be a better I'm one, yes. Yes. Because the At beans, for roast, the beans yeah. themselves and are Malabar really beans. nice. Yeah. They're a good bean and we've had them for a long time, but the, yes. there's a distinct uh, flavour oh, going but, on But then there. now we are going to try the... But now we're going to try the... Uh, oven. Oven, combi oven roasted. Okay, let's see. See what this is like. So I wonder if it will retain the oils because it's a, mm. or is it going to heighten the flavour? Well, I have no idea. I I wanted to wait to try it with you. So I that's a batch I made earlier today. And um, how does it smell? It smells very nice. That smells. Mm, very mellow, very different. So it smells already. Like fruity. 
yes, it already has a different taste, I mean smell, compared to the Jean Cafe, so I'm quite sure that it'll be a totally different cup. I think it'll be a completely different taste. Yeah. It'll be a different experience. Um, and, you know, who knows, maybe you could even go to a higher temperature in yeah. the oven, we don't know. Sorry, I forgot to do the grind thing, didn't I? What? Oh, no, no, it's okay. I'll show you the grind, guys. I apologise for that. I'm just That's all right. to it's be doing. There's a white side I mean, it, actually. It's, it's quite a fine grind. Yeah. Um, I can just show it here. So, 244 means um, it would feel quite smooth, isn't it? And it yeah, 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 yeah. It feel yeah. almost powdery smooth. So, um, I'm going to do the pour now. Did you want to come in for your close-up yeah. for the pour? I'm just going to start off again on a one or two or three bar. Four bar, sorry. Okay, it's okay. pouring quite well. Yeah, it is. It's coming out quite nicely. I'm going to stop it soon now. I don't think I want it to go too blonde. Just stop it there. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to get too... Uh, going to lose it. It's going to set up, right? This is the Combi Oven Chrome Roast. Um, and I'm sure Dee will give a little bit more information about that on the, when you do the yes. video as well. Yeah. And we can update. Um, so it's a preliminary uh, data we have gathered of how the oven settings of temperature and steam translates mm. to uh, the roast levels. At around roughly 10 minutes roast. Time. Yes. So there we go, we have the crema in there. Yes. Very thick crema. Yeah, Loads it of crema. is. So let's give it a go. Oh, wow. No bitterness. Just compared to the previous cup. There's no bitterness at all. At all. It's like a different bean, actually. Yeah. So re that's Shock. really interesting just to see how different those processes are. They have they made such a difference to the taste of the bean. So wow, I'm shocked. I'm speechless. Yeah, because this one um, I've finished mine. Yeah. It's very earthy coffee. Yeah. That's so you can taste all the single origin that people talk about. Oh, if you let that go over your tongue. Mm. Um, it, you can taste the fruit in it. Mm. It's a very kind of a sugary sort of... It's sugary. Yeah. Uh, whereas the other one wasn't sugary. At all. No, that's not the... Sugar is not the... No. Uh, what do you call it? The term that comes this to is, mind. This yeah. is quite plummy and sweet. Plummy. It's Cut. like a sweet yeah, plum. Yeah, like a very sugary... Yeah, sugar, yeah. sugar plum. <laughs> yeah. It's very yeah. nice. It's very really sweet. You did say that, um, do you, after you'd roasted it, that it was minutely under. Yes. I can taste that it is sl um, very, very, literally, probably by like a minute or something. Under, yeah. Under. Because under. So you can taste the raw beet. We've done enough of these home roasts in the past to know what a raw beet yes, <laughs> tastes yes. like. Yes. And it's got. No, that's a very good a point. Of, I, I that. But apart from that, yes. it's a really, very nice coffee bean and the way that it's been processed in the combi oven mm, yes i think is really good because it's heightened the flavors and it's actually brought out mm. the flavor of the bean more yes um and it's really nice it's a very nice bean i've got to say oh, yes so, so if, if that's the i can give my opinion on that taste the medium uh, roast on the combi oven um, no, I, I think that's been a mega success. Yeah, it's been awesome. That's really lovely. It's beautiful so, flavour. So, uh, hear my logic out. So yeah. if a very difficult bean that's quite difficult to get good flavour out of Jean Cafe Roaster came out like this, then yeah. maybe for the next batch, shall we just do the oven and review it from the oven? We can do because we've found that the process is different. I mean, with the 
Guatemalan beans anyway. Um, yeah. I can give you a little bit of background on that. It's done by a natural process. So um, I wasn't doing what a natural process was, of course. Because mm. he's like a walking encyclopedia. I didn't know so much about what natural process is. So um, I looked on back, Backyard Beans mm. uh, website. Um, and it said that naturals have a, uh, tend to have more fruit and fermented flavours mm. um, because the bean has more time to interact with the natural sugars from the cherry mm. as enzymes break down it, the yeah. mucilage around the bean. So basically, um, I read up a bit on the Guatemalan bean, uh, the Finkelos Jacobs natural pro uh, well, bean from Coffee Compass. Um, and it's it was saying that this bean has a, a lovely plum and cinnamon taste, uh, which comes from a natural process. It's got a tea-like floral character as well. Mm. Um, it's saying it's not as fruity as other naturals, say like an Ethiopian natural, but it's got um, it's quite Moorish and it's gentler. Mm. Um, and also, I read that it's good to roast it on a medium roast oh, okay. mm. which is what you'd actually said d from what yes, you were yeah. thinking um and also uh this coffee is farmed uh the farm mm. itself is located uh, 1400 meters above sea level um so that does actually make a difference to the bean itself mm. and because it's above sea level um it gives the it was something about the bean having more time to mature Yes, um, it's a more slow-growing fruit. That's it, sorry. So it's a more slow-growing fruit, so you have more opportunity for the um, bean to mature and kind of absorb those flavours from the um, fruit, from from the um, fruit, from the coffee itself. Um, and that's where the natural process comes into it as well, because it kind mm. of ferments with the fruit, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, yeah. And it's quite an involved process. You have to keep turning the beans regularly. Yes, it's so it's and Yeah. And, uh, so, um, uh, I believe the, you know, the farmers decide. It's not some kind of an intellectual decision. It's uh, pragmatic decisions based on availability of water, the weather conditions, yeah. you know, or, or the prevalent kind of, you know, is it a sunny area? Is it always cloudy yeah. where they are? Well, I, so, th I think this is Antigua, Antigua. Um, um, Guatemala, Antigua. So the the guy um, that grows and produces the coffee called Alex Ilescas. Oh. Ilescas. Um, we can Facebook him. Yeah, <laughs> we could do. Um, he's on his grandfather's farm. Mm. It's I L L I L L E S C A S. If you want to Google, Alex. Oh, yeah. um, and his grandfather's owned the farm for fifty years. Um, and I think that Alex, the grandson, actually, he said he had an idea that he wanted to produce amazing and interesting and challenging coffee for the speciality market. Mm. Um, so his grandfather allowed him to use the farm for that. And they, he experimented with um, a variety of different processing methods to see what might improve the cup quality. So mm -hmm. they put a lot into getting this just right. Mm -hmm. um, and also on the coffee bean, uh, back, back, backyard bean, yeah. um, part of that process is actually called honeying mm. as well. Um, I haven't got much more about that on there. Mm -hmm. um, but that's actually part of it. So I think it's where you allow the bean and the fruit to kind of mm. ferment together and it becomes loopy. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. a honey process. But again, it allows the bean to absorb that flavour. So what that kind of brings into focus from what we just looked at with the combi oven and, and the processes, mm. the process of the roasting is actually really important. Yes. Um, and we're finding that that air, uh, the air... Um, yes, is imparting some kind of flavour. The air is making the... Uh, I think it's something to do with... It's getting over-oxidised as it rose. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, you yeah. can taste that slight 
uh, what do you call it, the charcoal. You take like the coil. You yes, can you can the taste coil, almost. The you can. Yes, it sounds um, almost. Roasting machine. Yeah, um, it's like, not being snobbish. I really can taste that metallic coil yeah, yeah, taste yeah. in the coffee. So, <clears throat> by experimenting with the mon monsoon Malabar in the combi oven, it's given us an opportunity to actually do the same. Yes. For the um, Guatemalan. Mm. Um, and give that a go and see how that goes. Okay, so, so we will cut the video to roast that. So are we going to use the flow and um, review the Bantam and the 360? Um, yeah, we can do. Or do you want to yeah. do that after we have roasted all the three together? Um, well, I think it might be an idea to... Oh, I guess we could actually. Or we could compare the Guatemala and done in the combi oven to these to see okay. what flavours okay. come out. So because I'll do really that. it should be quite fruity. It should be we should be able to pick up from mm. what I've read here if those flavours are meant to be like cinnamon and plum and mm. we've had a nice experience with finding that plum. Yeah, yeah, with the, with the, I yeah, consider them so a difficult beans yeah. to roast because they go from being underdone to being overdone within literally um, about 25 seconds is yeah. all you get, you know, when it shifts okay. the face. Yeah. That's very, very yeah. tight. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's very yeah. tight, so it's having to pay attention to that. So, instead of me waffling on, we're going to um, do the roast and then we will do the rest of the review with a comparison. I know that these will have been done with a convi oven. Um, yeah, they'll be uh, drum roasted. Most of the commercial roasted, beans are. Yeah. Uh, there are two types of uh, commercial beans yeah. roasting. One is a sort of a, a hot, superheated air mm -hmm. is passed, and within three minutes, uh, something like that, the beans are. Yeah. That's the extreme bulk, uh, like you find in huge. But yeah. small batch roasting is done in always drum. Yeah, because I was doing a little. Just to be really quick, I was doing a little bit of research today because yes. I was trying to find out where Sainsbury's roasted. <laughs> Yes, beans, yeah. I just got, but actually, you know, Costa and places like that have got huge, I mean, humongous roasteries mm. that yeah. they've, they've actually had built by, um, who is it, Walker Wessel. Oh, yes, um, yeah. Costa Coffee had one, uh, yeah. like a huge roastery. Yes. Made. So, yeah. it's quite a Yes. big thing so having to get that right walker uh, vessels but, are people who um, work for the mod uh, yeah. building stuff for our ports uk ports yeah so, so, you know, so they they needed their expertise yeah, to do yeah. <laughs> yeah, that engineering expertise yes, yeah. to be able to do that so and that also kind of gives a good comparison between these types of bean and then you've got other people and other mm. companies like Modern Standard and yes. that have the small roasteries yes. and it's a bit more, it's on a smaller almost scale. Almost personal, I mean... Um, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. almost on a more personal scale, you know. Well, surprisingly... You, you do, oh sorry, let me just finish. With the Bantam, you do have the date, etc. Yes, yeah. You do have, uh, you know... Um, Yes, uh, I found some of the supermarkets are a bit cagey about the roast date. They give an expiry date, but they are a bit cagey about the like roasted on. The, but then they do, but it's a code that's dif difficult to... Was it to Modern Standard or was it the Union? Unions do. Unions they give put a roast. the person on as well. Yeah, Modern, st uh, modern Standard, standard do. Right do. Yeah. So that's really quite personal. So yes. it's a completely different marketing strategy. Uh, mark packaging as well, you yes. know the packaging for this is done by yeah. Foster and I Bailey. think you should so put my name on those jars over there, roasted by D. Yeah, roasted <laughs> by D. <laughs> D <-poo. laughs> so yeah, so I think with the, the marketing and everything, that's kind of come across as something that's really quite important and it's how they're actually portraying their beans and these small roasteries seem to be the ones that are trying to get the individual personal link between you and their, co and their company mm. and their process. Mm. Um, whereas these ones, um, done by Sainsbury's, etc., um, even, yeah, I mean, UCC, 
are the 360 guys. Um, these, you know, they're kind of like you source the bean from a smaller farm or from a farm abroad mm. and get it direct. Yes. And then it's all roasted in a yes, yes, yes. big roastery. Yes. So, so there's a there's a difference between ones more personal yes. and the ones that are more personal are more expensive. Yes. Because so you're paying for that. You're not just paying for the quality of the bean. Mm. Which is also You're higher because the... it's come from a smaller farm. That means yeah. a, a farmer has given a bit more attention per plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. is more. So you're paying yeah. for the journey of the bean. Yes. Because yes. you are you can follow it more mm -hmm, easily mm -hmm. with the modern standard and the union. Oh, we were going Wasn't to mention uh, the coffee that made us feel ill. Oh, yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, Taylor's of Harrogate last week, the Colombian one, actually. Um, I don't know why, but it made us feel very unwell. <laughs> I was, yeah. I thought it was it's just not a me. high. It's not the no, high no, no, buzz no. you get, you know, you would imagine. Something else. It was something else. We felt bad. We felt depressed. Yeah. Uh, I think it just kind of did something to our system. And then I thought, oh, maybe it was just an off day. And then we both, I, at different times, I hastened to add. I didn't know dear dad won again, and I'd had one. Yeah, and I again, tried it for again. The whole, yeah, yeah. the whole evening and the next day, yeah. I was really unwell. Yeah. So this I is, don't uh, know. That was the praline, Colombian praline. So I don't know why if it was a poor batch or. No, these are mass produced. These are so big estates, so big yeah. they are able to supply enough beans for these giant, you know, supplies. Yeah, yeah. And and like you said, when when the when it's mass produced. We always find it is quite different. Yes, pardon me. So the quality of the small batch is, and the small far, far roast superior. Is, is superior. Yeah. Um, and I think they're quite clever with their marketing as well. Mm. So um, after that one minute, I said one minute waffle, five minute waffle. <laughs> um, going off on a tangent. Uh, um, we'll, we'll come back um, and we'll, we'll be quick. Back, with, um, yeah, we're going to roast and then come back. And then we're just going to quickly, um, as quick as we can, um, <laughs> knowing us two, girls that tend to waffle and not do stuff, um, we will do the roast, um, do the tasting, and see which one goes on to the podium. Yes. Okay. Thank okay. you. This was me earlier checking the roast level of Guatemala Jocatales beans. So. I let the oven preheat for four minutes with the skillet. Um, then the beans went in, just a single layer of beans. And this is the level after six minutes. And I did a further four minutes, but some of the heat had been lost from opening the so door. From about 202 grams of raw beans, we have about 178 grams, 79 grams after roasting or 80 grams okay so that's where it is okay hi everyone we're back again so Dee's done the roast in the combi oven of the um, Guatemalan bean so this is the result um, it's quite heavy <laughs> heavy pan not heavy beans yes um, so this was done um, it's still at an experimental phase um, uh, for about nine minutes yeah uh we can round it to 10 minutes but um we did not did you use your chart yes i used 224 degrees centigrade okay. uh, i did reduce it to 222 degrees at the very end because i was worried even 224 might be so is that medium roast at level three yes okay correct so that's all on this yes i will um, post a link yeah document that they've made for everybody to refer to for the Gumbia one. Yes. Um, so yeah, so this is a, 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 a guide um, more than anything, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. It could guide the heating, you know, if you can change the heat precisely on your combi oven, then you might need to do that. But these are basically yes, around yes. that area for the temperatures yes. that you're going to need for the different levels of roast there. Yes. Usually um, the high fan setting I found is not too bad in the beginning because the beans are heavier. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, in the beginning. Uh, but definitely, you know, uh, remember to reduce the fan speed at least to medium or just under medium to make sure the beans don't get blown around the oven. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's, there are more things to kind of consider with the combi. Yes, and oven. the shaft removal. There is no system yeah. to remove shaft. <clears throat> I'm so just what going to talk about that. Oh, sorry. You all, no, you talk about it. That's no, what no, was uh, on my uh, mind because so, you mentioned it. Uh, one of the ways... Oh, why don't you show what's the best way to remove shaft? Ah, oh, so, so if you've got it in a jar, you can just agitate the jar and the chaff kind of, there's not really much in you, there. You pour it out into a plate yeah. after that. Go out into the back garden. And just uh, go <laughs> blow. blow. Yes. Um, and the chaff will come off. There's, there's no other real... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no difficulty. No, uh, it's just that I would advise not to do that inside the kitchen, it'll be all yeah. over the place. Uh, yeah, and it's really, really and, uh, and, uh, it goes everywhere. Maybe you could mention why removing the chaff is good. Yeah, if you um, if you leave the chaff on there, it's going to create a woody taste okay. um, because it's the shell, the outside of the beans. Yes, it's, it's, a, a, it's not got any flavours, it's got burnt off. in the roast and yeah. all it will provide is a slight woody taste yeah so it just it, it, it allows the flavor of the bean to come through properly and yes. as it should do yes so um what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into the tasting now um so i'm we've got the bantam and 360 but i'd like to start with the um watermelon because i'm quite excited about what it's going to taste like yes. um so i don't know i haven't really got any Super duper way of doing this, apart from. What are you looking for? I'm going to just put the beans in the top with. Oh. It's alright, I'll do you it. You can like just that. grab it in your hand. I know, I'm trying to be um, oh, hygiene. conscious of hygiene. It's quite unusual. <laughs> 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 just show it off. <laughs> All right, so we've got it on a 270 grind. Yes. Um, yeah. We've discussed this just before. Yes, um, we're, we're just trying it at 270. I believe that might be mm. enough. So. Okay, so I'll put it into here actually so you can see it in the actual basket. It smells divine actually, it's got a beautiful smell to it. Oh, nice colour as well. Yeah, nice colour. Can I just uh, feel Yeah, 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 do the grainy test. Yeah, it's quite grainy. Yeah. And uh, have a sniff, it's got a lovely aroma. Yes, yeah. Well, intoxicating, but nice, gentle mm. as well. It's yeah, quite gentle as well. it's really nice. But, um, I'll just get ready to that one. I've got the two I really did a manual tamping. I've been doing manual tamping all week for some oh. reason. Uh, well, just the experience, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's my favourite tamp. Yes, since the churches are closed, this is our worship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on then, let's uh, do our close-up of the pour. Just to see what it's like. So I'm going to start that off on a... Not much, two or three bath. Oh, look at the colour, nice. I'm not going to push that one too much actually. Mm. It's already blonding. Okay. So that might be so it to could do be, with the grind. Yeah, it, it might can be. be uh, bit, you need to be a bit finer. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Possibly, there we go. So, creme is alright on that. It's not as thick as the, um, the yes, monsoon most, Malabar. Yes, that's a more of a normal creme. But Oh. What's that like? Wow. We've got to try it. We taste all the fruits. That's awesome. Wow. It's tangy fruity. It's tangy, in a, not in an unpleasant way. I yeah, could even could. roast it a bit more, even. I think you could just, like, again, my new, I think you should uh, maybe go for the, no, you put that on a, Medium roast level two. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have um, reduced it, oh, was it a from two to twenty four. Yeah, I towards half the way I put it on two twenty two, 
And I did open the oven door a couple of times just because... So I of, think you could have actually done with leaving it at the 224. Or maybe even 226. I could give it a try. Well, 224 and don't open the door. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Then but the other that, variable I haven't considered is the steam. Hmm. At the moment, we haven't tried various different steams that will come over time. So we'll keep updating this list. Yeah, it's got that Basically. mild under roasted taste. But it, I mean, that's just down to us and our roasting. Yes. If we're going to kind of analyse the bean, yes. it has some beautiful flavours in there. Yes. It's um, kind of like a, it's just very fruity, like a tangy fruit, like even a, not raspberry, but the tang you get from yeah, a nice I, yeah, raspberry. I was going to say raspberry, you can taste berry-like notes. Yeah, berry. Berries, definitely. Um, right, in, in the plum. Mm. The really aftertaste is nice, there is no bitterness. Um, uh, there is that it's slight got a nice um, tang to it, and that would make a nice espresso. Yes. As well, I could drink. I couldn't with the other Mal monsoon Malabar. Yes. I would need cream or something with that. But for this one, that would be a really nice espresso. Mm. It's fruity. Yes, and tangy. And it's not overly not bright, but or yeah, yeah. Anything like that, it doesn't make me go. Mm. <laughs> my my yeah. acidic brains are. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. doesn't make me do that at all. It's really pleasant that one. So that. Mm. I think the only thing is we might need to look at the roast level. Level. Yeah. But as far as a bean goes, that's kind of got those those similar flavour notes to the um, mm. oh the uh, Mexican three sixty was it that one that I liked the yes, Mexican yes, one yeah. and um, um, the yes. Congo I think it's by modern standard yeah the three sixty Mexico so it's it's that's, got that um, kind yeah, of um, to it. And the other week. Yeah, so <clears throat> all of the ones we've kind of got nearer to the top of our um, leaderboard because they're all quite gentle but they're fruity and they've got a really lovely sweetness with them. Mm. Um, and this is quite, it's tangy but it's not, it, it's, it's got enough sweetness or sugariness in it yes. to actually ameliorate that, negate that kind mm -hmm. of stopping it from being too ooh, yes. like that it's not like that at all really good bean and actually again i'm really i'm really liking that natural process it seems to be the natural process yes. where you if you like something that's a bit fruity and nice yes then go for the nat more ones that have gone through more of a natural process yeah um because i'm not big on I'm not big on fruit teas. I don't. Yes. I'm not. You know, the herbal tea I like is peppermint. Mm. That's far yeah, away yeah. from fruit as you can get. I don't like fruit teas and things. Mm. So to actually say that I like these, mm. and to say that I like these coffees that are on the leader board well, at the top that we've really looked at and tasted yes, and everything, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, having that fruitiness. Yeah. It really is nice. Yes. 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 Um, so yeah, I think. Uh, so. That's a, a nice one, and I think. Did you yeah. want to comment on the process, D? Or I realise there is another big advantage for me doing it in the oven again, yeah. or, or rather the the gin cafe roaster becoming redundant. What I'm thinking is, I'm not able to roast uh, less than 200 grams or thereabouts on a gin cafe, uh, right? Do much more. So you know, imagine I bought a kilo of raw beans. That's about, yes. you know, five times yeah, roasting, yeah, yeah. it's finished. Yeah. So you, by the end of the week, you're tasting your beans that are, you know, like a week old. Yeah. Um, and um, already... Ah, oh, so you said you can do more small batch. Correct. So, in and fact, the there is no batch, limit to how yeah. small, because if it's getting done in six minutes... Yeah, yeah. Then, you know, um, as long as it covers the bottom of a pan, even, Emma, um, please can you show that small saucepan? Because yeah. imagine just a handful of beans covering the bottom of the saucepan. 
and yeah. that's all you need as long as it's in direct contact with the with the metal it rolls perfectly as long as the beans are not eat. small so imagine it's a very small saucepan and just a handful of beans as long as it's just covering the base so it's in direct contact with the metal it'll roast perfectly so you can yeah. roast very small batches you know just yeah. enough for a few cups That's and good. you can make your raw beans last much longer um, uh, yeah, that's good because raw beans, they're not, I mean, the, price, the cost is pretty good, mm. really. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's like for those two kgs, it is like 20 yeah, yeah. pounds, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. Um, but if you're getting a really good bean and it's yeah, sourced yeah. from all over the world, from, you know, different farmers that are kind of on the yes, whole fair yeah. trade and... And uh, getting a good deal, and, and coffee compass. I haven't really looked at any other companies, I've got to say. Yeah. They do raw beans, and we've worked with them quite a lot. Yes, not work with them, I don't mean work with them. We've used them a lot in the past. We yes, buy yeah, all yeah. our raw beans from them, and they're pretty good. Mm. We haven't ever had a reason to complain about them, yes, ever, not ever. Yes, um, but you, you know, you guys, you can explore other companies. Um, and see what they have to offer as well. So, as well as your local roasteries, because yeah, 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 yeah. As you we said explore earlier, your area, you know, where whichever cities you're near to. Smaller the batch, whether better it's it seems. Cardiff, London, yeah. what Bristol, mm. whether it's Birmingham, you know, there's going to be these small artisan roasteries that you can go and explore. Yes. Um, like Dee said, I think that's a really good idea yeah, and that's yeah. very positive for the coffee industry as well. Yes. Going into that more, <clears throat> um, that more um, of a close kind of personal relationship with the yes. coffee roaster, yeah, yeah. the bean, you know, mm. who, who grades it and mm -hmm. things like that. I don't know if we get to make it. I mean, it's a bit like them, wine. I mean, uh, coffee from the same farm is never the same every no, year. No, no, no. And so, that's it. so small batches, you know, why rely on, you know, humongous big batches, um, you know, that taste, mm. you know. All of these serve a purpose. Mm. I'm being devil's advocate here, I'm sorry, but I will be. So, um, the, the larger companies have their role mm. um, in, you know, providing supermarket grade yes. beans mm. at an artisan level but they are mass bat, yeah. batch are roasting. they at mod artisan level i mean well not artisan but they're marketing themselves towards that but they mm. don't claim to be it because you know they put money into this kind of packaging so they're trying to emulate small batch the small batch but uh yeah there is but, a, but they do call this a small batch so and i think part of the reason these I, are yeah. nicer might be because they actually you know, oh, small genuinely batch. small batch from yeah. small farm. So it, it, it keeps with what you have been saying, yeah, which is yeah, yeah. sort of smaller batches. Smaller batches, natural processes, I think as well. Mm. Um, anyway, uh, we've been waffling quite some time and I think we need to crack on. Okay, Not waffling, I think what we say is really good, but I think we need to get on with the yep. tasting. So we've got Bantam here. Sumatra small batch. Mm. Um, it's done by a woman's cooperative, the Coco Wageo um, Women's Coffee. I don't know much about this group of ladies that do this. Um, it's well hulled. Again, it's um, 1400 meters above sea level, so you can kind of expect a, a nice, mature. Mm. taste that might actually come more from the berry yes um, as well and the flavors for that um, the note there's notes of dark chocolate tobacco leaf and grapefruit acidity so that might be what's strong. around that area mm -hmm. uh, for them to have uh, done that so uh, not for them to have done it for them to uh, for, for that to have taken up that flavor um, of the Benir Maria district in northern Sumatra, Indonesia. Mm. Um, okay, we can see how it is. And they're all for female power, oh. female empowerment. Okay. 
Um, and as a group, they have allocated their funds to families and communities. So again, you know, they're really going in for the ethical, you know, you can drink a coffee knowing that ethically your conscience can be clear. Mm. <laughs> it's not being some poor person yes, yeah. telling away, getting yeah. those, you know, that have, yeah, have yeah, been yeah. Um, mistreated or anything. So yes. that's nice. It's nice to know that. Yeah. Um, and again, 1,400 metres above sea level, so that means you'll get the maturity of the, the bean coming through because it takes a bit longer to dry and it would mm. be... Um, it says, I don't know about this, this is well hold. Do you know anything about a well hold? There'll be there? less mucilage, less of okay, the uh, shaft. Less of the bean. And less of the shaft. Ah, oh, okay. So when it's roasted, mm. they, they it'll have a cleaner, you know, considerable, oh, okay. little or no woody taste. Okay. Uh, that's what they aim for. Um, um, but it says that the flavours will be notes of dark chocolate, tobacco leaf and grapefruit acidity. Mm. So you can expect it maybe to be a bit, but in a nice way, hopefully. Ah, now there is a, I might just capture that because uh, when I say acidity, I mean like the wine taster saying acidity. That's actually a very, like, in, because all wines are made from fruit. It, in so yeah, they use the word acidity to yeah. say how much of the fruit there is. That is a different, that is what you call as fruit taste in coffee. Okay. You use acidity for the word acrid or like the charcoal taste. Yeah, if it makes me like, like that. Okay. So what's the difference between a fruit taste and acid from, for you? Fruit taste and an acid taste. It's, yeah. Well, fruit is fruit and acid is acid. I can't really verbalise it. <laughs> Go on. Uh, <laughs> well, let me get closer to your face. Thank <laughs> you giving me the look. <laughs> all right. No, it's just just for the viewers because they are all kind of. Uh, this is new. I mean, ten twenty years ago we just drank coffee. It was good coffee. All right, bad fruity. Coffee. If it's fruity, my face will not do this. Okay, yeah. All right? Yeah. I'll do it on a visual rather than a language <laughs> base. Is that all right for so, you? How come you do that face whenever I kiss you? <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> all right, oh. enough of that. <laughs> We're going to get on with See if I know for the bloody thing else. Right, I'm going to get the scissors. I'm not fighting well, I guess, these packages. Um, I don't like them. I like the ones that are easy. Oh, yes, yeah. So you've started going for the scissors. I've gone for the scissors because um, I think the last conversation I just had put me off trying to battle with it. <laughs> <laughs> so they're quite... Ooh, talk about tobacco leaf. Oh, okay. That's quite intense. And yeah. it is actually mm. does taste like tobacco. I mean, smell like tobacco. It's a roast level three. Uh, well, uh, seems a bit dark for three. Oh, oh sugar puff, sorry, I just dropped some. That's these definitely pretty, darker for these three. These darker for a three. Look, I they're think split in I half. can't believe these numbers. They're split in half. They're yeah, yeah, that Sumatran is often like that. I don't know what kind of bean it is. Um, it's Sumatran mandolin, mandolin. No, I don't know if it. Oh, it's Arabica. Blah, 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 blah. It's Arabica. Arabica. Uh, yeah, it is Arabica, but. That's hundred percent. They have this. Um, oh, do you know what I did that with my? Never mind. Oh. Do you know what I did that with my? It's to do with the processing and how, yeah. you know, the inside of the seeds, yeah. uh, you know, develop during the processing. You know, yeah. some of it is lost. You know, yeah, into, yeah. Uh, into various natural things that happen to the seed and uh, ultimately you, you taste all of them in the cup and hopefully it is good and not bad uh, so split beans is not necessarily automatically mean it's going to be awful because we have had if you remember when we bought raw beans beans that look terrible yeah, but so after ro roasting it's just amazing taste well, let's see what this one's like. I'm going to yeah. do it on the floor. So they're 270 grams still. Mm. Okay, so... Oh! Yeah, it's quite dark. Yeah, that's quite dark. Um, the roast is 
definitely not three. I would say it's a level four at the minimum. Okay. <laughs> I've completely overridden what the company have said themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so let's say, oh gosh. Oh, well, the other possibility is it was a level three and the beans just tends to get darker. Yeah. Like if there's more sugar in the beans, that will caramelize darker. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Right. Okay. Okay. Are you gonna come over and we'll uh do the poor. Oh, look at that, it's that tree cool. Yeah, so the darkness, it well, probably is a level three and maybe it's just dark because of the really caramel in it, the sugars. It's and the maturity of, of it in the area as well. Well, that's really dark, there's not much crema on that. That's where the name Java comes from for coffee, it's uh, from Java used to have these dark. Oh, I don't know if that, I'm gonna like, it smells. Mm, that's a bit strong. Um, I sniffed it and went. Yeah. I did my face a bit like that. Woof. That's the same as the dark roast of the Malabar. Mm. That's really oh. quite woof. I'm not drinking any more of that because okay. I know that all buzz me completely. So um, that's quite a shock from Bantam. That's really, <coughs> really, yeah. Oh, I try another sip and um, no, okay. oh, that's like an electric shock. Mm. Yeah, now that I can't. That's, now that's a really good um, way to oh. describe because that's what those other ones that made me feel a bit yucky. Mm. It made me feel like I had an electric shock just going through me all the time. Yes, that coffee pod did that. Do you remember that day? Yeah. So. I'm not keen on that Sumatran. Yeah. At all. Um, <sighs> maybe we just don't like dark roasts. Maybe we don't like that stronger flavour. And some people might really like that strong flavour. No, it's, flavor. it's it's not just the strong flavour. You can taste charcoal and tar get... and sort of things that you don't necessarily want to eat. So if I, I get... mean, who wants to eat charcoal? Or drink well, I'm, what I'm going to then be very aware of is, and wary of is when it says it's got tobacco leaf and grapefruit <laughs> and Well, there are way. people who chew tobacco though. <laughs> Some people do, but I don't think they'd even chew that. Uh. I wouldn't if it was, if it was me. That's really vile. Okay, that's not on the podium. Okay. In my opinion, that's a no... Oh, no, that that, no po. <laughs> that makes me realise that um, our roast has been a mega success. Our roast has been really good. That with the, the combi the oven, medium. I mean, yeah. Right, Cuba, Cumaniaga. Can you do a Cuban beat? Cumaniaga. <laughs> Go on, do it, do it. <laughs> I'm not doing <laughs> I barely say it, let alone do it. You <laughs> see me kick this leg in the air, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, <laughs> maybe I'll do another video. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, look out for the capoeira oh, upload. <laughs> All right. So Cuba's not even Capoeira, is it? I've got the wrong place completely. <laughs> right, so this again is a strength four. Um, we haven't done the coordinates to look it up, but I think D will do, and that will be yes. on the video. Yeah. Um, so it's 200 grams, strength four, Cuba. Um, anything on the back? No, it's just saying enter the coordinates and have a look. Um, we've got the batch code. It's UCC, so it's kind of like a... Yeah. Do you think they um, give the coordinates of somebody else's farm? <laughs> they might do. <laughs> it might be a trick. Maybe it's mm. a lucky dip. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, right, it's got the... I love those. Oh, yeah. 
so much easier. That, that alone is worth 50 people. It is. <laughs> so let's have a little sniffly woo woo with these. Oh, God, I think I've broken that thing. That's well, nice. We've got super strength. It might be Wonder Woman. <laughs> ah, Wonder <that's>... Woman. <laughs> Blender. Woman. <laughs> Right. Let's keep this one a go. We're going to keep it on the same grind setting. Um, we'll have to look at those coordinates. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, did we stick with same 270? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I just mentioned. We stuck with the 270. I actually yeah. heard that static burst when you touched the cup. It's that little spark. <laughs> no comment. I do it every time. Like, that's why I do it like that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, try not to get too much of shock. So there's the. Do you want to do a little yes. grind test with your fingers? Well, you do it because I need to hold the camera. So that's quite a nice. Mm, you've got nicer hands as well. Finer grind. That's <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yours are quite well kept. <laughs> <laughs> I was beginning to wear, what's that going? That's the punchline. <laughs> I roasted two yeah, batches today. That's really labour intensive. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on then. Come over for the close yeah. up of the ball. Oh, nice. Looks good. All the pores have been perfect today. Look at that. Awesome. I'm not going to ramp it up. So the pores are good, and if it doesn't taste good, that really, the beans is no good then, yeah, is I'm it? Gonna, I'm not doing it too much. I don't okay. want to over pour. Well, if, if uh, any of the viewers think we need to allow a bit more pour, yeah, yeah, then you can uh, leave then a we comment. Can, yeah, please leave a comment. So the crema is really nice so much. Yes, oh, let me focus that, yeah, yes, yes, a very Arabica style karma. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's okay, better than the other one. Do you know what, it's all been really smoky. Yeah, this also is a little bit on the darker side, but at least it's not like spit out uh, you know, sort of <laughs> a bit of it's. <laughs> I mean, there's a bit of a, a fruity, uh, like a tangy aftertaste, but not much. I'm actually not um, with the ones we've done this week home. I'm not a big fan of them. You know, like. Uh, I gotta say, I don't. Yeah, I yeah. There is no it. great aftertaste. So I've had a couple of sips, and it did make me cringe as it. But the the taste is nothing likable. Uh, and, no, it's and, not. Um, if you like a woody taste, <laughs> no. If you like woody and that kind of grit, you know that real raw taste, not raw bean, just like a earthy. Earthy is is the word. Then mm. that those beans would suit you um, and your palate. They don't suit mine. I, I couldn't drink it. Either. Um, so I, I, I don't know if we, have, we are uh, becoming snobbish, uh, but uh, we, we genuinely are, are big fans of 360. Yeah. Where the other Mexico was just so sublime. Uh, it was amazing. But, but the other um, Bantams were really good. But I and don't all the like other Bantams were good, but race. those two were... And uh, I'm, they're not even going to get on the podium. Yes, and it may not make the top 20 either. No, you uh, won't. No, no. <laughs> because it's crowded already. There's a lot of competition. Um, that was nice. I think that was sublime. I think that's a big success. And that was, so you know, and even the Indian uh, monsoon Malabar done in the so oven. I think um, the dark, that's another dark one. I'm not yeah. saying that that's just not, we looked at that last week and that came out. As a higher rank, didn't it? I like the medium. On I like the, the medium of the monsoon Malabar. Yeah. And I like the medium on the Guatemalan, and I think the Guatemalan yes. for me is. Uh, the uh, favorite. Even though that did a podium before with whatever it was against, 
because it's up against those two, you're saying it is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, I'm just that saying that kind of can't go in along with that. Is that what you're trying to say? Well, because it went on the podium once. Yeah. So what is the reason it's not on the podium today? Because that's just that runs way, the right. That's way, better. Yeah, that's, it's it's on a different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's not that that's bad as such, but maybe it's personal preference coming into it. That's mm. a nice lighter roast, and you can taste it more. And compared to the two we tasted, yeah, but compared to that, that's a totally different. I mean, compared to these, um, they'd all go, all the home roast would be on there. Mm, compared to yeah. Um, because they were not nice. I don't. I don't like those other ones. I'm mm. sorry. Okay. But, and we, uh, you know, we've got other three sixties and bantams on that top in the top ten. Correct. In fact, three sixty is in the top five. Yeah, yeah. One of them. But I just can't um, do that today. So yeah. That's it didn't even make top twenty. No. no, no. no. So that is. Okay. So for the final, it's only two. Proper winners, then, isn't it? Yeah. Both, both open. Yeah. And that might be a close third. That would be a close third. Slightly but, uh, just off but the podium. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Um, um, so, mega I success with the, the combi oven. Is it this one or yeah, that yeah, one? Yeah, this one. Guatemala. Guatemala. Yeah. yeah. That was a nice bean. Yeah. So. A natural process. Awesome. Really good. Yes. Good bean. And um, so that's a uh, good uh, for the. Um, uh, uh, oven me. as well, yeah. Yeah, because that as, was, that as was a good word the about the oven, oven as well, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. we would highly recommend it. It's, yeah, so uh, if you've got a combi oven, do it that way. Yes. Um, if not, a roast is probably cheaper to <laughs> buy than a combi oven. Yes, yeah, but of course, so yeah. But a combi oven is great uh, for everyday cooking. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's it's so very that's energy efficient. Story. Yeah, that's yeah. Story. yeah, yeah. Okay, so yes, this week. It is the watermelon that is the winner. Can you say the name? <laughs> Jocolatos, is it? Guatemala Finca Los Jocatos. Yes. Natural process. And I'll put uh, the guy, is it Alan? Alex? Alex. Uh, I'll put his link. Alex. So, oh, uh, yeah. thank you. Oh, thanks, Steve. It's been and, really uh, good this week. Much better than last week. You look week. ravishing. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye.